everybody um i've got a small very small dollar tree haul that i wanted to share um first to start with i'm not feeling well i think it's allergies that time of year the weather's changing everything i like the value health medicine from dollar tree i mean you don't get much in it's only 10 soft chews soft gels and i don't like liquid medicine so this is supposed to be comparable you know to like it's um it's comparable to NyQuil, Vicks NyQuil liquid liquid caps. I only take one. If I take more than that, I get I'm like knocked out for days. Um, basically, it's antihistamine, pain reliever, fever re fever reducer, um, cough suppressant, antihistamine, headache and fever reliefs of headache and fever, sore throat, minor aches and pains, coughs, sneezing, and runny nose. So I that's why I went to Dollar Tree. I needed to get some medicine. Because I'm not feeling well. Do not skimp on the Dollar Tree medicine for $1.25, guys. Because I, I know it's only 10 But if you stock up, I mean, let's see. Well, I guess what NyQuil was it $10 now for a box of NyQuil. And what do you get? Maybe 20 in it? I'm not definite. So even if you get four of these, that's $5. And that'll give you um, 10, 20, 30, 40, <laughs> 40 um, gels soft gel so that's not bad i think it's a good deal and it works just as well for me at least as the night quill and it comes in a day quill and all that so i do get the the um i do recommend the dollar tree medicines all their medicines we've we've gotten them before also i don't know why does anyone have a one thing of silverware that no matter how many you have they seem to disappear ours is spoons we're down to like four spoons no idea where the spoons are gone. So Dollar Tree had a pack of two for dollar twenty-five. So I got eight, a set of eight for dollar twenty-five, and they're pretty good. They are um, not Green Briar. I don't think they're Green Briar. Let me see. Okay, they are Green Briar, but I've gotten their silver before, and it wasn't that great. These are nice. I'd compare them to uh, Walmart silverware. So where you get Target, maybe even it's nice quality um, spoons. Here, I'll kind of give you guys a look. I know I still have it wrapped up. So I got, like this two in a pack. But if you need new silverware or you're missing silverware, check Dollar Tree. And we had, and the spoons had different sizes, big, you know, big, like, soup spoons, all kinds of different things. At least at my store they did. Then I also got, these are for, big if you guys don't know, and if you know, you know, the Snuggadoos at Dollar Tree, they come out every year at the holiday time. I love the Snuggadoos. Um, I got the, they're like the furry, fluffy ones. And I got these for a Halloween costume. I thought they'd be cute for mine and Sabrina for Halloween. So I got the two here. If she doesn't like hers, I figured I'd make them into doll tights. And if you guys haven't seen my video, I do have a video two videos actually where I show doll tights out of sock out of adult um, knee highs I did get this pack of like slack the comp performance dress socks slack socks from peds isn't peds a brand name I know they're not green buyer anyways I got these there's two in a set they're just the black trouser socks and I'm gonna make four pair of doll tights maybe I'll do another video of it just using the glue because I want to just do it with glue with uh, hot glue instead of where I've done it where I've sewed them so um yeah my doll I don't know tights are so expensive so yeah I'll go ahead and I'll do another video again this time with the hot glue showing you how to make a no sew doll tight so I got these so that'll give me four sets of black tights I wish I had had them in different colors but if Sabrina doesn't want these, I'll probably end up, either I'll keep them for me or I'll end up making another pair. These are great for stocking stuffers, guys. And then, these were at the register that I was checking out, at least in my store they were. And I fell in love with it. So I'll share. I got um, some dream catchers. Oh, one second. <clears throat> Like I said, I got these at the register. Oh, one, cute. one for me, one for Sabrina. I'm going to send one to Cassie. This one's mine. 
So it came like in a, a black hat. Well, hold on. Came in the black. They're little dream catchers. These would be great for Christmas, too. I like this one. Okay. And then uh, it came in the brown. Which I, feel Sabrina... like, I feel like Cassie would like that one. Which I was actually thinking Sabrina would want this one, but she wants the brown one. And then this is a green one. So I'm going to send one to get, and they're, and they're in the shape of kitties, and I love that this one's a black cat. I feel like Cassie would like this one a lot, because it's all colorful, and she likes a bunch of the colors. Yeah. Okay. She's a colorful person. Oh, so. yeah. I'm, I'm here, guys. <laughs> she just came in from being mm -hmm. outside from playing. And then I got... Oh, you bought these at the Dollar Tree? Oh. Yeah. And then I got a book. Hold on. I have a little book haul from Dollar Tree, which I just realized that... Two. Small. I now have this book twice. <laughs> If you are a Monster High fan, guys, check your Dollar Trees. They've got the Monster High books at Dollar Tree. So I now have two of these. So I have the Cleo Denial. Um, I think it's all her diaries in like one book. You know, when you when you got the dolls back in the ninety well in the two thousands, um, you would get a diary. And I think this is like all her diary entries. I've got also <laughs> It's hard. I'll just show you. I'll do a, all my Monster High books that I've gotten from Dollar Hi, Tree. Please. So here's um, Cleo Denial's Diaries. Cleo Denial and the creepy, creepy, Creeperific Mummy Makeover. Okay. And then oh, I no, also got covered. this one, which I may have already, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> the, these are the little, um, you know, third reader. Sabri oh, Sabrina. Yeah. I'm trying to do a video. Sorry, just the, you know how they have the one reading level, and the, well, this is this is the third reader, oh, and read um, I don't know if you have to do AR for school or anything, but this is one you can read on your own, and this one's called The Caddy Noir Finds Her Voice, The Boo York, Boo York. I haven't seen this movie yet. I've been wanting to see it, but there's this one. <laughs> what? Buddy. We're right here. And then I also saw... Oh, I also do Ever After High. If you guys have seen my dolls before. They've been up here before because they're not anymore. But I saw this one. It was... Um, oh! It was regularly $5 at um, Walmart because it's got the Walmart sticker. So if I got it for $1.25 and it's a one, Ever After High, Once Upon a Twist, uh, Cerise and the Beast. And Cerise is one of my favorites. She's the... She's um huh. Red Riding Hood and the Wolf's daughter. So, Stop fighting. I like this one. Y'all be careful. And I got this one. This one looked interesting. And I thought for maybe no. spooky season, maybe Sabrina might want to read it. It's Let called, me. hold on, it's called Phantom Limbs. And it's book one. Oh, she, oh. Hey. She turned into a coyote. And it says seven kids rebuilt with cyber parts must find a way to survive the deep space nightmares that await them. On the Earth colony asteroid Scorpio, something has gone terribly wrong. Millions of light years off course and 900 years late, the ship's owls wake up. Oh, AIs. The ship's AIs wake up only seven kids. Leaving the adults stuck in cyber sleep, <laughs> damaged from the long journey. The AIs must repair the uh, Awakened Seven with the only thing available, cybernetic robot parts. Anyways, it looked interesting. It's book one. It's from um, Scarescape's book. The kids of cyber parts begin taking on life of their own called Phantom Limbs. It looked interesting for $1.25. I thought Sabrina could possibly give it a try. I don't know. You never know with her. Uh, and then I found this one for me. This one's interesting. Again, it looked good for spooky season. It's called Last Things. And uh, I just started, I was reading it in the car. I'll give you guys a whole review when I'm done. I'm already on page 22. It's a pretty easy read, which I like. Um, it was on the New York bestseller list. By Jacqueline West. And it's a. Um, basically, it says um, that someone is always watching. It's supposed to be like a thriller. That's what, where is it? I like that. Uh, it says, uh, 
Last Things is a kind of taunt as atmospheric thriller that gets your heart racing and sets your imagination on fire. Sensational. Claire Legrand, New York Times bestselling author of Furry Born. So I thought I'd give it a try. Once I get done with it, guys, I'll give you a review. This is called Last Things. I got it at Dollar Tree by Jacqueline West. And it's supposed to be a thriller. The cover caught my eye for spooky season. Try to get the glare out there. Make, there we go. Kind of it's got some woods and this guy standing here with a guitar. And then last but not least, these are at the register. Sabrina needs one because her lips are getting really chapped now. So I found these. Hold on. Vaseline Lip Therapy. Kind of chunky. And I got one in rosy lips and one in the cocoa butter. Oh, the uh, rosy lips. You want the rosy lips. So let's give him a try. How do I open it? You just twist it off. No, it says protective seal. Yeah, I know. But they're more like a lipstick than a chapstick. And just Chap. roll it up. Let's see. Okay, it goes on smooth. So, see, I don't have a mirror. I don't have a mirror. I'm just kind of doing it. That's weird. I got this. It would be more red. So it's just kind of like a... Almost like a lip gloss kind of feel, not a chapsticky kind of feel. So this is I, I don't like, like this you one. You don't like it? Mm -mm. Oh, you want to try this one? Can I try this one? Yeah. Thank you. Let's see. Try mine. See, there's no there's no pigment. Well, I guess there's a little. No, because I put it right there. There's no pigment. Nah. This is the same. It just glides on really nice. Yeah, it doesn't taste like anything. Yeah. So if you can put one in your backpack, put this one in the bathroom. No, put this one in the bathroom. All right, whichever one you want to keep in your backpack or your purse or somewhere. Because I know we got more floating around. It's this time of year, like every time I at Dollar, at Dollar Tree, I'm picking up some kind of lip stuff. And Oh, and the last, guys, I think I already showed you my Danny cup I got from Spirit Halloween. But I got, because I'm not feeling well, I was looking for some kind of electrolytes hydration drink and I got um, one of those um arm what are they armor have you seen them there's body armor drinks I got the mango and hold on I could no because I'm sick and once you in time I cut oh, and I only got one bottle yes I got the mango and oh good orange orange and mango I do like it and it's coconut water um so I do recommend if you need a, a armor? Un, no body armor it's a drink under armor is a t-shirt Body armor is the drink. So I do recommend the mango and orange. It is 120 calories for a drink, but it's the electrolytes, it's coconut water, there's vitamin B, vitamin A, all the good stuff you're supposed to have. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. I hope you, you know, enjoy my little haul here. Again, I recommend the medicine from Dollar Tree. I've even gotten the cough medicine for Sabrina from Dollar Tree. For $1.25, you can't beat it. Like, subscribe. We'll see you on the flip side. Bye, y'all.